Hello and welcome to Joss Event Online Weekend News at 9. I am an infant Ismail for the news headlines. Shatima demands a more united Nigeria. Fed the government to support 250,000 farmers on wheat production. Bills to address unemployment promotes national languages on their way, Deputy Speaker says. Not is governor's pledge to improve small scale irrigation farming. Matawale warns sponsors of violence against strong kids in democracy. Set fund advises vertices on new funding models and on sports. Oshoba emerges new IBO super featherweight champion. Now, the news in details. Vice President Kashim Shitima has demanded a more united Nigeria, saying that the nation's multicultural diversity should be seen as a source of strength and not division. Shitima said the administration of President Bola Tinubu recognized the roles of traditional institutions in navigating the intricacies of the country's diversity and would therefore always prioritize activities that are designed to celebrate the rich cultural heritage of all the tribes in the country. The federal government has pledged to support about 250,000 wheat farmers with 50% input subsidy to cultivate about 250,000 hectares of land during this year dry season. The Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kayari, made the disclosure during the flag off of the 2023-2024 dry season farming under the National Agricultural Growth Scheme and Agro Pocket Project at Kadume Village, Adeja Local Government Area of Jigawa State on Saturday. He said, with the federal government support, the wheat farmers were expected to produce over 1.2 million tons of wheat during the dry season farming. The Deputy Speaker of House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, has hinted that two bills likely to come up for the bait soon to address the perennial challenges of unemployment, as well as making Aosa, Yoruba, and Igbo a national language in Nigeria. Carlos stated on Saturday that the National Apprenticeship Scheme Bill and another one to allow for more national languages outside English as Nigeria's lingua franca in the works and may soon the board in the House of Representatives. The North East Governors Forum has pledged to boost small-scale irrigation farming to mitigate the negative impact of climate change in the region. The chairman of the forum, Governor Bagana Zulum, said these are the opening of the ninth meeting of the Governor's Forum in Jola on Saturday. He said that agriculture is the mainstay of the economy and livelihood in the region that needed boosting. Zulum also expressed the need to engage critical stakeholders to assist in an industrial development program that would encourage the development of local resources in the region. The Minister of State for Defense, Belo Matawale, has warned any group or individuals sponsoring violence in an attempt to truncate the nation's democracy to desist from such unpatriotic acts or risk the full weight of the law. Matawale also charged law enforcement agencies to deal decisively with those instigating violence in the country. According to him, the long arm of the law would catch anyone who perpetrates violence to disturb the peace and tranquility of the country. The Tashawi Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, 
as attributed the declining revenue and rising corruption to deteriorating infrastructure and poor remuneration of lecturers in Nigeria. Executive Secretary of Tech Fund, Sony Ekonu, who stated this while delivering the 51st Convocation Lecture of the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, advised Nigerian public universities to adopt a new model of sustainable funding to guarantee self-sufficiency. Ekono urged universities to go into the core business of education delivery, research and service such as consultancy, clinical medical services, agribusiness, technology parks and innovation hubs that will be self-financing and generate surplus revenue to fund their institutions. The last on the news is sport. Elizabeth Oshoba, 2022 Commonwealth Games silver medalist, has emerged as a new international boxing female super featherweight champion after defeating Italian boxer Martina Reign on Saturday. That 23-year-old Nigerian has now improved our unbeaten record to six victories and three knockouts. We have come to the end of the weekend news. Here is the recap of the story. Shitima demands a more united Nigeria. For our government to support 250,000 farmers on wheat production. Bills to address unemployment promote national languages on that way. Deputy Speaker says North is the governor's pledge to improve small scale irrigation farming. Matawale wants sponsors of violence against truncating democracy. Third Fund advises varsities on new funding models and on sport. Oshoba emerges new IBO Super Featherweight Champion. Thank you for watching Just Events Online News. Remember, success is not final and failure is not fatal, but the courage to continue counts. For more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a tab at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on Just Event Online at gmail.com. I'm an infant, Ismail. Good night.